Hey guys, Ronnie here. Just want to do a quick instructional video on how to correct your softball swing and gain at least 15 feet in less than two minutes a day. But really quick, I do want to let you know if you're on YouTube a lot, like a lot of us are, because there's so much great stuff on YouTube, check out Mom's Vlog 80. Great stuff on that channel. Mom's Vlog 80, check it out. You won't be disappointed. But there's so many videos on YouTube about correcting your softball swing and things you should do. Talking about leading with your hand, so many different things, but how to implement that and the actual drills that you could do. So we're gonna get started on a drill you can do two minutes a day to gain all kinds of distance, whether you're playing fast pitch, slow pitch, or whatever. So what, what it is, it, it's, it's simple. All the big dogs, if you want to talk about Brett Helmer, you want to talk about Baumgartner, it's all about leading with your hands, about rotational. So in a, in a normal softball stance, whether you're back, whether you're forward, whether you're cocked even more, now I'm left-handed. So what it is, when you want to have a rotational swing and you want to, have, you want to lead with your hands, I have this fence, this is a 34 inch bat. Okay, so if I were to put this bat right up against this fence, I'm going to show you how to do this. So now what I'm going to do in slow motion is I'm going to get in a stance and I'm going to lead with my hands and whip the bat around. Now if you haven't done this before, you may want to start with a wiffle ball bat. If you don't have a fence and you have a garage door side of your house, doesn't matter, but you really don't want to be ruining your, your good softball bat for league until you get a little better. Now, once you get used to this, you can come way closer. So this is 34 inches. Now think about it. If I'm out here like this, I'm still hitting. So if I'm out here like this, look at how far I am. Now, I'm at least two feet, so I can come way closer. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come even closer. Look at my hands touching. So you see how far my hand is? I'm not even, so here's what I'm gonna do. So I'm in my stance, I'm gonna load slow motion i'm going to lead with my hands and then whip the bat around let's do this again i'm going to load lead with my hands whip the bat around now i'm going to do it pretty fast for you right now like i said look at how far back this bat is barely touched it so go back just a little bit still not even close to being far load swing what this drill will help you do, even when you're warming up batting. So in the on-deck circle, right before you get up to bat, sit there and practice this. Look it, big, big, big step. Come closer. You don't have to choke up. See what I, my normal grip is behind it. I got two fingers over. Doesn't matter if you're like this. If you got all hands over, one hand over, sit here like this and swing. What it'll also help you do is it'll help you correct when you swing and you go up and you lose the power because it's going to help you swing straight through. Now it's a little awkward but in one motion like all the big leaguers do and the professionals do it just becomes natural. So one more slow-mo. Load lead with your hands, get the proper rotation, swing through. So now I'm gonna swing a few times, give you a couple different angles of it, and actually see putting it into practice. Okay, so I hope you like this. If you implement this and practice this every day, having rotational hitting, leading with the hands, getting the whip on the bat, that's one of the main things, getting that extra whip on the bat, you will gain distance on your hitting. You will gain it from not only leading with the hands, but having complete rotation and not swinging up. Like I said, it doesn't matter what your grip is fundamentals, keep practicing, practice, practice every time you're up to bat. 
So we hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to leave a comment below, I'd love to talk to you. Until next time, see ya.